So in 2015, I went to live in Shanghai in China, and China is the biggest garment manufacturing um, hub in the world. So that experience was really, really insightful. And I'll tell you a little story. Um, so as we all have kind of apps on our phone for the weather, in Shanghai and in China, you'd actually have an app on your phone for the pollution level. And if the pollution level got really, really high, um, there would actually be like warnings. And if you were at school, for example, if it was um, a green, if it was um, green, it meant you were fine to play outside. If it was amber, it was a bit more cautious. And if it was um, red, it meant you couldn't actually play outside. And at those points, um, a siren would go off, in which meant stay indoors. And yeah, it's quite amazing. Like I never come across that before in my life and um, when the siren went off I was actually quite scared. Anyway, um, it was a really new experience for me and um, at that point in time the government were really um, sort of putting restrictions on factories and, and stopping all the factories and mills from um, producing so much and for me as a buyer that was really difficult because it meant I wasn't getting my product in time but actually during that time when the factories weren't producing as much you could literally see the sky went from being grey to, to blue again and the, and the same happened during the pandemic everything in China was closed and actually during that time the skies became blue again and everybody started to sort of realise the impact that factory and production w w was having on the environment and I think seeing that with my own eyes really made me think I need to do something <laughs> And my whole little kind of strap line is, you know, for 20 years as a fashion buyer, I was part of the pollution and now I want to be part of the solution.